love bugs welcome to my channel if you've been here before welcome back if this is your first time here i'm happy to have you guys as always take your resonates leave the rest if it's not your story this time it's okay i will catch you on the next one um just want to take a minute to cleanse my space of any negative energy holy spirit angels ancestors please protect me as i channel these messages for the collective please deny any outside interference not divinely orchestrated all right, y'all. Let's see what Spirit has for y'all today. What is on me? Something is on me. That could be significant. Somebody is on you. Somebody is watching you. I don't know. We're going to see. Let's see. I don't, I'm being drawn to this deck. I don't usually use this deck. We're gonna find out. It's the season of the witch. There could be, I'm getting maybe a third party. Somebody's watching you. I don't know. Let's see, Spirit. What do you have? Fire Festival. <clears throat> Excuse my throat, y'all. I don't know what is going on. Um, through, through flame and through song, there will rise a new dawn. Fire festival. And it's got the number 11 on here, which signifies new beginnings. I feel like this person maybe tried to cause some kind of downfall for you, collective. And you came out on top. I don't know if y'all can see that card. It's like a bunch of people behind her with these black cloaks on. And she's like in her, you know, hippie, spiritual garb. And she does not give no fucks. She's like, moving on. Moving on. What else, Spirit? What's going on with my collective in this new year? Embodiment. Now unsown from the flesh, a most alluring lullaby stills my pain as the skies bleed from my heart and the embodiment I am to claim. Yeah. I'm getting like somebody was trying to stop your debt, like your um, spiritual blessing, like your destined abundance from coming to you now unsown from the flesh this has nothing to do with this vessel that you're in it has to do with your heart and what you're to claim in this lifetime I'm getting I'm hearing somebody took your kindness for weakness this could be a friend <clears throat> family member or it could be a I'm I'm getting two people there's people behind there but there's two people coming in the to the forefront what else spirit Morning dew. What stillness does the silence of one's steadiness bring? And this is in reverse. Somebody wanted you stuck and stagnant. Cow, may the embrace of all that is nurturing you awaken and all that you are becoming. Yeah, they didn't want you. They didn't want you being able to see. They didn't want your chakras open. They didn't want your third eye being able to see. This person was afraid of all that you are to become. That's what I'm getting. That's too many spirit. Hand fastings. The pools pulse through all that I am. No hidden form is left untouched. I am willing, I am risking, for I yearn for unity spilled lustrously upon my lips. And it also has to do with some kind of um, spiritual love connection here. 
They wanted you left untouched. They wanted you secluded and lonely. And they know that you yearn for um, a genuine love. They didn't want that for you. This person wants you to be unhappy. All right, let's give it to the tarot. Mm -mm -mm. Spirit, which tarot do you want me to use, please? Not those, okay. I hope everybody's been having a um, a great year so far. I know we're only a couple days in, but I've been having a great year so far. Staying positive. Where is my tarot at? Okay, we'll use this one. I got a lot of things lined up that I'm working on. So, it's gonna be a good year for me, I'm claiming it. All right, let's see. The Hierophant. Somebody could have been doing Rituals This person could have been either doing rituals on you to keep you stuck or Okay, I'm hearing two things so They could have been hiring somebody to put some kind of curse or hex on you to stop your growth or they were doing rituals themselves and then i'm also hearing this is somebody who was in your space a lot who doesn't who somebody who you had to put up personal boundaries with it's like this person overstepped their boundaries a lot with you Person gossips a lot. Spirit, how will this how will the collective know who this person is? You may work with this person. Work life balance is important to protect your creativity. Maybe this is a co-worker or or you have a business and this is a partner of yours. Or this could be an apprentice, somebody, somebody that you're showing the ropes to. Death, endings, beginnings. Somebody that this person may have been working with you and it got toxic. And you may have fired this person. I'm hearing this is for somebody specific. This is not for everybody. This person may have got fired. Why are my cards all wacky? And they felt some type of way about it. So now they're seeking revenge. Or they got fired from the workplace. Um, or they felt like you took their spot in the workplace. And now they want revenge. That's what I'm getting. What else, Spirit? Yeah, they felt like you stopped their money from growing. Page of Pentacles. They feel like it's your fault for their financial downfall. Or they're jealous of your financial um, prosperity. And they are just focused that, like, it's like... They're so focused on you, they can't even work on themselves. Yeah, and you were nothing but positive with this person. I'm getting that you were like a mentor. You're like telling them, focus on your goals and it'll bring you success. Um, but I feel like the reason why they were fired or the reason why this person was no longer allowed to be in this workplace 
is because they were unfocused. They were all over the place. They were late. They like they were doing shit that you get fired for. But they want to blame. They don't want to take accountability, and they want to blame you for it. They want to blame you for it. So this could either be somebody that you worked with in this whole situation that I was just saying, or this could be a love connection with with you and your your significant other, and they may have recently gotten fired from their job, and now they have animosity towards you because you're getting like a raise at work, you're being praised at work, and they're like, it's almost like maybe you're the feminine and they're the masculine and they're feeling like um, insignificant. Yeah. Somebody's making plans about moving forward. Find your inspiration to take action. And then we got King of Swords, head over heart. Somebody needs to sage their house. Somebody needs to cleanse their energy. And somebody is in the midst of deciding to leave this connection. You think things through from all perspectives. Find your inspiration to take action. Spirit is telling you that what you've been thinking about, what you've been fighting with yourself internally to do about this connection, to do it. I don't know if that's leave. I don't know what that is, but Spirit is saying to do it. You know exactly what Spirit is talking about. Spirit, clarify this embodiment. What is to be claimed by the collective? King of Cups in reverse. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be out of this emotional manipulation. You deserve to be free of that baggage, whether it be a work situation or a love situation. This is not part of your destiny. This person purposely gives you bad advice. They're very cold towards you. They're very moody. Page of Wands. They may come to you with like, um, things that they want you to work on for them to distract you from what you're working on for your prosperity. The star, yeah. They want to, ooh, I just got chills, y'all. They want you, they want to take up all your time They want to take up all your time so that you don't have time to pour into yourself. The star. They know that once you're on your spiritual journey, you're healed, you're in your purpose, you're aligned. It's a wrap for them. All your dreams are coming true. All your dreams are coming true, collective. I cannot make this shit up, y'all. Transition. Six of Swords. Moving on. Leaving behind. Releasing baggage. Moving to calmer waters. Relationship ending. I'm hearing that Maya song. I'll be moving on. <laughs> moving on. What's that song about? She's like, what kind of woman do you think you're dealing with? A real player you wish. It's a song about somebody who's cheating. So there may have also been some infidelity here. I'm here, I keep hearing that, the line. Whose draws are these? You know I wear a size four. Uh, and it's basically like, and, and you, you ain't been stroking it no more. So she, so I've been sleeping all alone. It's like this person. 
this person has been giving you the bare minimum and just trying to make you feel like on not unworthy that what's the word i'm looking for like not desirable they want you to feel like like you can't do no better than them nobody would want you that type of thing so it's like they're it's almost narcissistic like they're pulling back their energy from you um in a sexual manner because they don't want you to feel desired. They don't want you to feel loved. And that goes back to here. They know that you are yearning for a genuine love. This hand fastings over here, number 17. Um, August could be significant, the number eight. Hand fastings, What something could have happened in August or maybe this is all gonna take place in August. I know that's a, a little far away. That's okay, maybe you need to gain up the courage to make moves or you know, you just started getting right in work and your money. So you're like working on that to make these moves. But something about eight is significant. Or eight years you've been dealing with this person, I don't know. <clears throat> Lesser of two, no right choice, confusion, fear, worry, indecision. Yeah, it's almost like you fight in your mind about, yeah, because spirit is, remember back here I was saying that whatever you're fighting with yourself about this connection, spirit is saying it's time to do it. Just do it. You know what you, what you need to do. They made it clear. All right, what's this? Something about being stagnant, morning dew, stillness. So we got the nine of pentacles out here. Enjoy the results of your hard work, the fruits of your labor. There's contentment in self-sufficiency and financial independence. Spirit is gonna make sure that you're financially stable so that you don't stay stuck in this karmic connection. Or they remove this person. I'm, I'm getting two situations, so I'm gonna keep reading it as two situations. They remove this person from your workspace so that you could have prosperity in the, in the workplace. The devil, toxic connection. Attachment, codependency, toxicity. You are only linked by what you believe is possible. So if you keep having this mindset, it's almost like you're you're chained by, I'm saying someone chained to like a tree, like by, like you got toilet paper wrapped around your, your wrist and it's tied to a tree. And you're like, I can't. And you're fighting internally. It's fucking toilet paper. Like, rip that shit and go. <laughs> like, it's literally toilet paper holding you to a tree. Like, the softest thing ever wrapped around your wrist that can be pulled free. That's the only thing holding you back is your mind. What else, spirit? Knight of Pentacles, hard work, productivity. Slow and steady, financial growth, achievement. Take a methodical approach and you will achieve, achieve your dreams. Yeah, it's gonna start out slow. If you stay in this, it's nothing but seven of swords, betrayal, deception. Be on your guard against deceit and concealment, lies. The they are going to try and get away with something. When you leave this person, this is a warning. This person is not gonna take that shit well. They're gonna try and go behind your back strategically 
with some kind of plan. But spirit, but you're protected though. But spirit just wants to give you a warning about it. Just like a heads up. Like don't worry about it. King of Pentacles, something to affect your money. King of Pentacles in reverse. Greed, indulgence, corruption, financially inept. King of Wands, yeah, some kind of manipulation or back to the spell work. Because they know that you're a born leader. They know that you're a visionary, entrepreneur. You see the bigger picture, you're optimistic, you're overcoming challenges. You're mature, you're very mature for your age. Some of you guys could be 26. Very career focused. What's out here? Somebody could be an Aquarius. Yeah, okay. So now, the cow. Yeah, Spirit is about to bring you a new soul tribe, new friends, new people to to celebrate with, new friendships. These people are going to help you collab. These people are going to network with you and celebrate your successes with you. These people genuinely care about you. They also can relate with your story and where you came from, the struggle that you went through. They admire you. They're, well, this is future. They're going, they're, get out. Whatever you are, get out because I'm trying to relate this message. Um, they, there's something trying to interfere in your message, guys. I'm sorry. Um, They are able to relate with your struggle. These people are going to be willing to even give to you because they, they admire your drive. They admire your potential. They see in you a victory the six of wands. They see your self-confidence. They like the way you carry yourself. This could even be a new love match coming in. Somebody that you maybe you start as friends. Someone who wants to invest in you. You have earned every one of your successes. It's time for a promotion, Collective. It's time for your next chapter. Yeah, you've overcome, you've overcome this challenge. You are going to overcome this challenge. You are protected. You have every defense mechanism that you need to hold your own, to stand up for yourself, to persevere. There's always going to be challenges, but you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. This is going to hurt you. I'm not going to lie, um, Collective. Leaving this person behind is going to hurt you. It's almost like you're crying over spilled milk. But that milk, if I can put it into perspective, it's like, I know this is silly, but 
say like uh, your grandmother passed away, right? And she gave you an object. It could be something so stupid, like, you know, she just gave you an object, like a bag of chips or something. I don't know. But this is what I'm saying. It's silly, but it's like, it'll all make sense once I, once I say what I have to say. It meant something to you. This relationship with this person meant something to you. It's a... And that's why I said this could be a family member as well. Because I'm getting some... This is for somebody in particular. Somebody's sister. You're having to leave behind a family member that you care for deeply. It's almost like... Somebody, somebody dear to you gave you something and you don't, it got ruined and you, and you're upset about it because of the, the tie that you have to that object. Like that bag of chips was so important to you because your grandmother gave it to you. But that bag of chips ain't shit. It's just a bag of chips. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, don't allow this this pain of this ending to keep you down this person was no good for you this was a karmic connection i hope y'all get that analogy because i don't know why I don't know. anyway all right yeah long-term views keep on going stay diligent keep investing in yourself if anything, this person is going to see. I'm hearing flex on my ex. In my model ex. <laughs> I don't know. If anything. <clears throat> remember I said this could have been an apprentice of yours. This is somebody who looked up to you at some point. So when you. Put that that guard up from them, they're going to see you prospering. They're going to see, you know, whatever, whatever you got going on, new cars, new crib, glow up. They're going to be like, damn, she really doing it. Like, or he's really doing it. And it's almost going to make them admire you from a distance. But the vibration that they're in now currently is no good for your your life at all so if they you know grow up spend a block later on then okay that's fine but they gotta raise their vibration and be in your energy they gotta be on your level collective all right what's this hand fastings i am willing i am risking for i yearn for unity Knight of Wands in reverse. Scattered energy, reckless, impatient, delays, frustration. Yeah. I'm telling you, this person wanted you to stay stuck up under them. They wanted you to be almost like some kind I'm getting like some kind of confusion spell where you don't know what you want to do or what you need to do in order to attract that same vibration type of love or even your soul tribe the people who are meant to be in your life they wanted you to stay stuck in this low vibration but you you're not in a low vibration you never were you never were so you couldn't stay there it didn't work out because you're not it's not a match. Personal goals, self-doubt, inner alignment. Yeah, they wanted you to doubt yourself. Have fear of the unknown, fear of change. Play it safe. Don't plan to believe in yourself. Believe in your personal power. Queen of Wands, the Empress. Y'all. 
This person was trying to stop you from seeing that you're the motherfucking Empress Collective. They were doing everything they could to stop you from seeing your true worth. You're the motherfucking Empress Collective. The Sun. Rebirth, success, all is well. And I'm going to leave it right there. You know what to do. All right, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I hope I hope you like this message. I hope it resonated. If so, hit that like button. Share, subscribe if you're vibing with your girl. And um, I love you guys. Thank you for coming, joining my channel. Um, don't forget to check out my website, vixentaro626.com. I appreciate all you guys' support and love that you show in the comments. And um, I'll see you all next time. Bye.